I'm Rob. Fancy a game of food connections, Rob. So I'll name a place and you say the first food that comes to mind. Ready? Yeah, sure, let's go. Italy. Uh, uh, pizza or lasagna? New York? Hot dogs, of course, or maybe bagels. Now, how about Cornwall from the UK? Oh, right. If it's Cornwall, it must be the famous Cornish pasty, right? That's right. Cornwall, the region which forms the southwestern tip of Britain, is as famous for its pasties as New York is for hot dogs. In this programme, we'll be finding out all about Cornish pasties, and we'll hear how it's gone from humble beginnings to become a symbol of Cornish identity and spread around the world to Jamaica, Argentina and Brazil. Mm. But what exactly is a pasty, Neil? Somewhere between a pie and a sandwich, right? A piece of pastry which is turned over and crimped along the side to make two corners. And filled with different ingredients. Which brings me to my quiz question for today, Rob. What is the traditional filling in an authentic Cornish pasty? Is it A. Chicken, avocado and brie? B. Beef, potato and turnip? Or C. Pork, onion and chorizo? Well, chorizo is Spanish, isn't it? And avocado with brie doesn't sound traditionally Cornish, so I'll say B, beef, potato and turnip. OK, Rob, we'll find out later if you were right. What's for sure is that the Cornish pasty has had a long history, as BBC Radio 4's The Food Programme discovered. They spoke to Dr Polly Russell, a public life curator at the British Library. Here she is reading from one of the earliest mentions of pasties from the late 17th century. There's a lovely bit here where he's describing um, what a housewife in Hertfordshire does. And he's talking about um, her way to make pork, pork pies and pork pasties. Pies may be made and baked, either raised in paste earthen pans or in pewter dishes, or in the shape of a turnover, oh. two cornered pasties. So that's a very early reference to a pasty in, in the shape, I think, that we know it, yeah. but also being made specifically for labourers to be feeding uh, labourers on a farm at harvest time. So the earliest pasties were made in pewter dishes, a traditional cooking plate made of a silver coloured metal called pewter. And they were eaten by agricultural labourers, workers doing physical farm work during harvest time the weeks in autumn when crops like wheat are cut and collected from the fields. But it wasn't only farmers and labourers who ate pasties. As well as its farms and fishing, Cornwall was famous for tin mines, as Ruth Huxley of the Cornish Pasty Association explains. 